What's up, everybody? It's Jamie. I'm here with Faith. Hi, and Al's behind the camera. Hey, everybody. We found a junkyard here in Pawnee City full of classic cars, and we know you're going to love it. Oh, yeah, there was a lot of cars there. Oh, man. There was a lot I've of cars never there. I've seen that many in one place uh -uh. before. It was awesome. That was like all of our finds put together in one. Yeah. Yes. We um, recorded a lot of the old buildings around Pawnee City and went to a Pawnee City Museum of old schools and buildings there. We also found an abandoned house as well. So we think you're really going to love this video. Yep. If you would, do me a favor and hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss another video. Yep. And it really... Leave us some comments too. Oh, we yeah. We love comments, so you guys leave us some comments for sure. It really helps get our page going. Yep. It yes. All right. I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget yep. that notification bell. Yep. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> well, we're in Pawnee City. We stopped by the junkyard to get a few things, different vehicles we're working on. And I wanted to show you guys some of their classic cars they have out here. Looks like a Maverick right there. Yeah, they have a lot of old cars and trucks. We're gonna film a few of them today. <laughs> Got your cart? Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, it's a nice day today. It is. It's great, y'all. February in Nebraska, and we're in t-shirts and absolutely just enjoying this weather. It's 73 degrees today. Faith found a Chevy Corvair. Look at that. Never heard of it. <laughs> well, there's a lot that you've never heard of, I'm sure. And me as well. Look at this, y'all. Wait, where's the engine go? Feed in the back. The engine goes in the back? Uh-huh. Hold that Pepsi can. Storage? Yep, so this car went 29,000 miles. I heard that these were very unreliable, but I know a friend. I have a friend that's dad had one of these. Yep, and there's the motor down there. Still got the engine in it. But you know, it. Was that most of the old cars? It might have been flipped. See, here's the gas tank, Faith. That doesn't make sense. I have the gas tank in front of the you. end that doesn't have the engine. The, well, <laughs> <laughs> that she didn't think about it, y'all. Everybody makes those. That's just, it's just funny. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Look at this old car. What kind of car is that? It's a Plymouth. That's a Plymouth. I just, it doesn't have the... Is uh, it a Fury? Riding on it. Somebody's cut the nameplate off of the side here. It's a four-door. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, it's cut off back here, too. Y'all let me know. I'm going to depend on you guys on this video to let me know what you think about some of these because they've removed a lot of the name tags and stuff on, on them, I would imagine. There's the tail lights here. The back end. Now, what about this one, Jamie? Yeah, there's no, well, I mean, the hood's up. I mean, the trunk is up. Let's see. But. 1950s era cars aren't my specialty. There's the symbol on right that here. one there. Hang on. M A N T E R E Y. Monterey? Monterey, okay. Yeah. So it's a Mercury. Mercury Monterey. What it says. Uh, I can't get the I can't get the uh, door open on this one. Let's see, this one says fifty two thousand on the odometer. can't get the best shots you guys the the cars are so extremely close together I have never seen this before a bag for windshield wiper fluid it's a, this one is an American Rambler American Rambler okay yeah see Rambler AMC 
Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Windshield washer <laughs> bag. <laughs> That's a little different. A Jaguar. Looks like a six uh, cylinder flathead engine. Oh yeah, there's an old LTD. 78 model. I bet you a lot of y'all had these cars. These were everywhere, and then they just kind of disappeared. Let's see. Let's see what engines in this. It's got the old 351 modified. Could be a 400. They looked identical on the outside. Oh, open. The keys are sitting on the chair. This is a 78. I like that uh, dash. I have one of these cars. That was my great-granddaddy's. And uh, I'm going to like to fix it up one of these days. All right, let's see how many miles did this one go. Looks like a one, yeah, 130, no, 13,192. So, but it's probably flipped over. Straight across from us. We got an old Chevy truck. Looks like around a, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to guess a 69 model. I could be off on that a little bit, but not by much, I wouldn't think. This had an old straight six in it. Yeah, this one's been picked over. Still got the uh, instrument cluster hanging out of it. Yeah, there's an old Ford car. They have quite a collection of these out here. I can't find what exactly this is. Yeah, it doesn't have the writing on it. I mean, it has an emblem right there, but it's just very hard to... Right. Cadillac Eldorado. This is, this is an old Fox Body Mustang. Yeah, it looks like a, around a 1980 model. It's approximate. I think 79 to 82, they were pretty much identical. This was a T-Tops car. It's about gutted. Instrument cluster's gone. Oh, yeah. So, I believe it's around an 82, 81, 82. Uh, the door handles up there used to be on the bottom, I think, on the 79s and maybe the 80s. I'm not sure. It's old Camaro. I had a 79 Mustang uh, race car. I built it when I was around 18, 19 years old. And I have to say, I beat quite a few of these Camaros. Yeah, these weren't really that fast back then, unless they were really built. I had a buddy of mine that had a 400 small block that was really built up. And uh, I got him by about two car lengths in my Mustang. I think the weight savings uh, on that light Mustang is what, what helped me out. This is a Plymouth Fury. This might be a long video. This one's full of stuff. They, they use this for storage, looks like. Old Chevrolet or GMC, I don't know which. Another old uh, I like the Ford. Color of this it's like a mint green, blue color. Oh, it's an Oldsmobile. Is this the Buick you're talking about? Mm -hmm. It looks like a Buick. They a lot of these cars were were similar. Hang on, yeah. I fixed up one of these cars. I helped a guy fix it up to sell years ago. Put a transmission in it for the fella. 8,000 miles on the dash. Yeah, the seats are still in really good shape on this car. They won't be for too long because, I mean, windows cracked here. This is that Ford Coupe. I'm sitting there, look, animals have just been living in this thing for years and years before it was brought in here, I'm sure. But look at that uh, shag carpet on the door panel. There's a crankshaft. Looks like a crankshaft, yeah, in the uh, back glass. 
Jamie, yeah. come look at the carpet on this door panel, y'all. Come check it out. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna say somebody fixed this up in the in the 70s. <laughs> wow, I've never seen that. Uh huh. I bought a 73 Mustang years ago that had shag carpet in it. Old Ford. Fairlane. Yep. Fairlane 500. Green interior. I love it. Look at that. Yes. I wouldn't want it on a new car, but something like this is pretty neat. Okay. Body color, the serial number. 65, let's see, 65,253 miles. Yeah, these headlights are still in great shape. And uh, dishes still in this car. Yeah, I looked through those. I'm sure you did. <laughs> what time do they close? I think 5 o'clock. We're gonna have to speed it up. We got several aisles of cars. I can't really do all of them. Yeah, but this is in Pawnee City at Smith Auto. Just a huge collection of these cars. Oh man, look at this. This car would be valuable. Wagons really came back. A lot of people Whoa. were restoring them. Yep. Country sedan. I'm good. No, I won't be using any toothbrushes I find here. I guarantee you that. <laughs> Let's I see found here. A skull of a mouse, I think. Ninety-one six forty-five on the odometer. Yeah, this car here has had some, uh, that might be factory, you guys. And, you know, I'm not really sure. I see body filler in here, but this just, that might be a factory seam there. They did things a little different back then. That's a neat car. wonder how many of y'all rode back here in the pop-up seat. We, my dad had an 80s Buick, and I used to uh, get to ride in the, the very back end. Oh, this is the Mustang huh, that she found. It's an 87 to 93. Red, like a maroon color. Yeah, I never liked the red interior in these. Uh -uh. Never did. Not sure what year or uh, model this truck is. Looks like an old Dodge maybe to me. Still got has the transmission in there. I know some of you car guys would love to see this place. The inside the door is gone. So is the instrument cluster. This was a uh, manual transmission. This is an old uh, Ford Maverick here. Rockers messed up on it, but it's not too rusted compared to what I've seen a lot of. It. Yep, interior still pretty complete. It's rough. Yeah, I'm not really sure on this car. Not sure on a lot of these, as you can tell. That's Oh, look at that. That's different. Let's see. Pontiac. Pontiac 8.
see if we can figure the year out on it. Right next to it's a, a galaxy. I, I can't tell the year on it. Well, this is a late 60s model uh, Ford Galaxy. It's a four door. Four doors weren't nearly as popular as the two doors, but I still think they're pretty pretty cool. Yep, this one missing the glass. Mark four, it says. Put that air conditioner system down there. Yep, Galaxy 500. Probably has the 289 in it, I would imagine. Yep, there's the there's the engine. Steel has the motor and transmission in it. This is a great place to find some rare parts. Here's an old Buick. Looks like a 60s model for sure to me. A lot of steering wheels are gone in these, I've noticed. All right, 45,626 on the odometer. Look at the controls up there. That's that's different. Air, temp, rear, yeah, all the knobs are above the radio. Those flow-through things, I rode in a car a while back that had the vents down there. Those really move a lot of air. They do pretty well. Yeah, it was Saber. Somebody was going to fix it up. They got some Bondo on it. And look at this one. It's an old Chevy truck. Postal. U.S. Postal Service. That's a Ford truck. I said this was a Chevrolet. I know better than that. Got the straight six in it. Guess that's what you'd want if you were delivering mail. You wouldn't want that big 390 in it. Can't read the odometer in this one. This one's been stripped pretty good. 1950s Ford, I would say. It could be late 40s. I'm not sure on this one. Oh, they've got another truck bed sitting on the back of it. This had a flat bed on it at one time. Wow. That's pretty neat. That's not in the main junkyard back there. I'm wondering if they're collecting their uh, straighter vehicles and storing them somewhere else. I'm really glad I bought a camera with a good zoom on it. I'm going to pan across these. You can let me know what you recognize out there. It's really fun uh, to test your knowledge. It's unbelievable how much uh, you guys know about the cars. and I hear the girls yelling for me. They walked off and they're trying to find me yelling Marco. Yeah, I think that's going to about do it back there. Well, there's a few more. I was just telling them, I was just telling them that I don't want to spend too long here, but when do we actually get the opportunity to see this many classic cars Never. in one place? This really is a uh, classic car graveyard for sure. There's so many here. Look at this. I love the style of these old cars. Oh yeah. I wonder how much money's sitting here. No, there's no telling. You know, a lot of the parts aren't good, but there's still there's still quite a bit here. If you're a diehard uh you know, restorer and you're looking for all original parts, they don't have to be perfect. Buick special. 
floorboard is gone on that. There's another Ford. This one is the two door. Galaxy. Yep. It's another Galaxy. That one I found uh, recently. I found it at, a, at an abandoned farm. It was the two door. It was a sport. It had the console. That was pretty cool. Now this is not a 289. I know that much. I'm not sure uh, what's what engine this is, you guys. It's wide. I know that. Look at that. That's neat. Oldsmobile. Some of these cars I don't ever remember seeing. It's my first time to see some of these. Let's see if there's anything left in here. I saw something that looked, looked like it might be pretty valuable. Look at that air conditioner, cool pack. Bet someone would love to have that. Great thing is everything out here is for sale. Notice this uh, old wagon here. I have no idea what this is. There's nothing uh, to identify it. The interior's gone. Yeah, it's got this sweeping front fenders on it. I don't see a name plate on it anywhere. engine still in this one don't know what it is yet looks like a straight six in it yeah I thought it was but is it a Bel Air like an early 50s model maybe Okay, let me, let's look and see if we can figure it out. Power Some? Glide. It says Power Glide. Okay. Well, I guess that might, might be referring to the Power Glide transmission, old two speeds they used to put in here. Racers love those. I wonder if anybody still uses those to race. Now, this is an old Bel Air. This is an, uh, early 50s I would say and that one over there might have been a Bel Air as well yep I believe so this one is uh, looks like the same car it's got the, the uh, straight six in it also yep Finding anything over there? Um, a car that smells like worse yep. than the climate. <laughs> what is this? Custom line, it says. I can't get the door open on this one. Now, this is an old. Em this is an old Impala, I believe. Faith, do you remember the one we found? The uh, cars that we found in the ditch. And uh, it had cat eyes. This is a little different, but. I heard the trunk lids for certain years of these were very rare. I think if I remember some of my commenters. This says Bel Air. So I said Impala, but it says Bel Air on the, uh, on the door. Yeah, another straight six. Wow. Yep. I really like that. It has the same color interior as Yep. This? this is a Mercury marquee. Let's see what engine's in this one. The same, either 351 or 400. Uh, this one is the 400. It actually says it right there, 400. Oh, wow. 
Yep. She's warned me not to open this car. She said something died in it, she thinks. I'm, I'm gonna listen to her. This one is really solid. It's got some good parts on it. I'm just thinking, you know, somebody uh, might see one of these videos that needs doors, fenders, or, or something. They might see something they need and contact them. I'm finding a lot of these these Ford Galaxy 500s lately. I have found so many of these. Yep, it's a it's a 60s model, mid to late 60s. Let's see what engine's in it. Yeah, it's got the 289 looks like. Yeah, that's definitely a 289. This blue interior. This is very pretty. Let me take a look at it. Oh yeah. Love the, the design of the seats as well. It just really, really dates it. 74,000 and 97 miles on the odometer. Why don't these vehicles have very many miles? And you know, the pedals uh, don't look worn at all. I bet you that hasn't been flipped. Well, Faith, they didn't last as long back then. They've come a long way. Uh, I remember my mom's uh, granddad telling her, car gets up to, you know, 90,000 miles, 100,000 miles, you better get rid of it because it's, it's done. Did you see the um, Cadillac DeVille? Is this an old Dodge truck? I haven't looked at it yet. No, this is an old Dodge. Yep. Yep. The interior has been completely taken apart on this one. What'd you find, Faith? It's a Fiat. It's a 78. You said you never heard of it, huh? I've never seen one, like, in person, like, this small. You remember what Fiat stands for? No, I don't. <laughs> Fix it again, Tony. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was the old thing that went around. That's funny. Yep. There, this one doesn't have much left in it either. Boy, that's tight. If you had two uh, pretty good-sized people in there, you'd be shoulder to shoulder. I couldn't get my legs. <laughs> Your long legs, yep. Yeah. This one's missing the front clip. Is this another Bel Air or something? Oh no, this is the Ford. Yep. Yep, it was a Galaxy 500. I see the 5. Yep, watch your step, Faith. Right here. Date? It says 10. For the date. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure either. This is a late 50s model. I would say it's got 98,000 on the dash. All right, well, we're going to take a look down one or two more rows and then we're going to have to head out. We don't want to lose all our daylight. We still have some exploring to do. Yep. There's the DeVille that I was talking about. I didn't know if you. That one. Notice it or not. No. Yeah. I was looking at this Ford right here. That's that one that I filmed a minute ago. All right. Look at this GT. Is this a? It looks fixable. The body. Yeah, body looks pretty straight on it. GT, what is it? Mustang really looks. No. I think it's a Vega. Uh, it's a Chevrolet. I just don't know. Seventy-eight thousand miles. Oh, its seats are gone. To be in the Midwest, it's really not that bad rusted. Yep, this is a Vega. I thought I recognized it. Yeah, the sticker here's oh. faded out. You got a little bit right here, but I mean, really. So, I had a. Uh, as old as uh, it is. There was an elderly man. He was around ninety that I used to do property maintenance for, and his wife had passed away. And he, she drove a Chevy Vega, and he showed it to me in an old uh, barn that he had on one of their properties. And he just kept it just like it was when she drove it. I felt really bad for him because a scrapper or somebody stole it in the middle of the night, took the car out of there. You know, it wasn't worth but a few hundred dollars, but to him it was worth a lot. What'd you find? Look at the... An old, um... 
Record. Record. Thank <laughs> oh, <you>. gosh. <laughs> Gre Gershwin's greatest success. Yeah. Let's see. Yep, Gershwin was a famous composer. Jazz orchestra. Uh huh. And then there's this. I don't know what this is. You might know the old radio, I thought, maybe. But yeah. Looks like it. Well, that's. Yeah, there's the, the dial right there. Parts of an old radio. Man. Little miniature turntable here. It's old Chevrolet. <laughs> when we first started exploring, you guys, uh, she was taking pictures of uh, and, like old antiques. And uh, Not funny. Yes, it is. She was taking pictures of like televisions from like the late eighties, and then the uh, corded telephones. Even, not, not even the old rotary type, the ones with the push buttons on them. Okay, let's see. This one's got fifty-nine thousand miles. It's not really showing up on there. No, we we like to give her a hard time about it. There's another record. The tag, the uh, label's gone off of that one. Okay, let's see what we got here. Columbia. Masterworks. I might be able to make this out once I put it on my computer. Some of these I can't read at all, but this camera really does well at picking it up. Okay, Gershwin's Greatest Hits. Look at that. There's the cover. There's the cover for that record we found. Oh, cool. Yep. There's another coupe here. Well, a four door. Look at that. Somebody's cut the front out. See, I don't know as much about these older cars. And here's another one. It's just one after another one here. I figured some of you would stick around through this whole video to check these out and see what I found. I'm going to go around and see if I can get a better shot of the instrument cluster there. Still has some upholstery on the seats. The engine's still in this car. I'm trying to see if I can recognize what it is. No, I don't know. Not really sure on this one. All right, let's see. It's a Ford. You just don't know. 35,000 miles on it. The There's another old Chevrolet. But I don't think there's anything on the trunk. No. Usually they'll have the main. Oh, wow. Yep. It was a manual transmission on the column there. Yep. It looks like 11,000 on the dash. Just door panels just barely hanging on. Floors aren't all the way gone in it, but they're not far from it. You know how I there's mean, an 80s Camaro stuck off in this. These are getting more rare to find. Now what is this car? It says classic. A uh, Rambler. A Rambler. Rambler. Okay. I noticed the speedometer. Well, look at this. It's different. I've never seen one like that. I haven't either. Well, that's that's very uh, very unusual. Surely it could go faster than twelve. Well, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. If it couldn't, something would be wrong, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's very unusual, though. I mean, I've never. It has five fifty on that fender. 
But, and I, I believe it's a 64. Is yep. That oh yeah, definitely. 1964 Rambler. There's another old LTD here. I can't help but to have a soft spot for these because I used to ride on the armrest. My dad had an old one when I was a kid. Back then, it, you know, seat belts weren't as big of a deal. I rode in the middle on the armrest. My seat belt was his arm. 460 V8, and this one still has the motor. I hate that the windows are down on all these. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The dash ain't even in that bad of shape on this one. 65,000 miles. The pedals aren't worn. Usually, you know, I look at that. If the if the pedals are worn out, I know it's flipped over. But if the pedals look fairly new, then a lot of times they've it's all original miles. Galaxy 500 here. This is a newer model Galaxy 500. Looks got got the 70s vibe going. Styling definitely 1970s, early 70s I would say, and this has the engine in it as well. Let's see, I can tell what it is. I can't get the hood up on it, but it's all right. Well, there it goes. No. What was that? <laughs> Boy, I stepped on something, made a weird noise. We all got a little jumpy on that. Let's see if it's on the uh, see if it's on the breather here. Nothing on the breather. It's, it's definitely not a, a, a 289 or anything like that. Too too wide for that. Sometimes they'll have them on the yep. fender. Look at this old truck right there. Grill's definitely different, unique. Straight six engine. International. Is it really? Yep, international. Oh wow. I've been finding a lot of them lately. I found a few of them. What blew my mind was that last video that I put out had an international refrigerator in it. And I that just caught me off guard. I had no idea that international made appliances. You know, someone could have could have made it for them, and they put their name on it. But now here's another old Maverick. We'll see if the hood will pop on this one. I'm gonna look at the inside here. They said that the Maverick actually hurt the Mustang in the mid '70s. They redesigned the Mustang. It wasn't that uh, popular, and uh, let's see if I can block the sun. Ninety-two thousand miles. They said that the Maverick, you could get the same uh, 302 in it. A lot of people like the old styling better, especially on the two doors. And they weren't buying the Mustangs. Yeah, this one has a straight six. These seats in here are really cute. They've got like these button looking things across the top. Well, let's go look at these cute seats. And they're blue. <coughs> right. You know <laughs> Blue is my favorite color. Okay, seventy-seven Chevy Malibu. It says here on the on the seat. Ninety-nine thousand miles. I like it. What now? On the head, the uh, brake lights. You like that? Yeah, <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. An emblem in the middle. Is of that it. a Grand Prix? Yeah, I think so. Uh-huh. Let me see. Yep. Grand Prix. Dash has been stripped. By Pontiac. Yep. It is a 77 uh, model. 77 Grand Prix. Mm -hmm. Well, Jamie. What was this? It's a pretty good find, wasn't it? That's oh, a yeah. Corvette. Well, just one last look here so guys they have rows and rows of these i didn't film every car out here i believe uh 
they're ready to go eat. Oh yeah. <laughs> they they'd kill me if I kept them out here all day. So. Definitely. But there's a bunch of rows out here. If y'all want any of these uh, old cars, and you could even inquire about the ones that they have out there over the fence. They have, like I said, they have a whole bunch of them out there, and even more, even more that, you know, over the fence that way that I couldn't film. This place is huge. Yeah. Not to mention their full service junkyard and self service. So, if you're interested in any of these cars, it's Smith Auto in Pawnee City, Nebraska. So, you could give them a call. Well, that's going to do it for part one of this video. Look for part two to be out towards the end of the week. We have a lot more to share with you. We had some really good finds today. There were some cars here that I'd never seen before. Uh, it was amazing to see all of them in one place. That was a, a really good find for us. We were really glad to be able to share them with you. If you like the video, do me a favor, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Consider sharing it with your friends to help support our page and to uh, reach more people. We will see y'all in the next video. Bye, everybody.